G'day folks. Well, tonight's little equipment autopsy. Uh, we have a pair of Brivus central heater uh, control modules, which also have an anti-theft device apparently. You don't want someone running off with your central heater. <laughs> I can just imagine someone catching someone half pinching their central heating, running down the street with it, firing their 45 auto at them as they run down the street. <laughs> Stole my damn heater! Bang, bang, bang! Nah. Apparently, stealing uh, somebody's gas appliance is maybe an issue. I don't know. I've heard of people stealing air conditioner coils for scrap, but I've never heard of anyone running off with their central heater. So, let's open one of these things up and see what's inside it. Uh, it does contain low voltage control input. That's network signal input. Um, 24 volts DC, 24 volts and ground optional board which had relays and things on it. I did have one a while ago but I think I threw it out. 2 amp fuse, LPG or natural gas jumper. I'm guessing that controls flow from the jets. It's probably got a variable gas supply valve on it. Uh, these are fairly recent model heaters. It's about six years old. There was a pair of them. Uh, that one there, I'm not too sure what these other headers are for probably control interface that sort of thing but this lives inside the gas heater itself you don't see this on the wall or anything it's all closed up in sheet metal up in the roof structure or outside in some cases so you don't actually see this but yeah it's it's a control module or Brivus Australia so let's open this one up I accidentally blew the PWM controller in my not-so-cordless drills, so it's only one speed now. Don't hook them up backwards on the battery. It just made a lot pop and smelt like burning, and that was the end of it. Okay. Nothing in there. Plastic. Where's it made? Well, it's got the Brivus logo on it, so I'm guessing these are probably exclusive to Brivus. Don't know. Bit of stuff in there. We got relays, probably fan speed. Oh, sorry, that yeah, that's fan. I remember now. I pulled it out of the heater, so that's your fan speed control. Well, one of these is anyway. Uh, no, it might be that one. One of these is fan speed control, uh, and most of it's just gas temperature monitoring and flow control and ignition. Get rid of that. Yeah. Is it made by Techelec? I think that's called. Sorry, it's a PCB manufacturer. Lots of little SMDs. Little Motorola chips. Does that say? LM339D. That's a little Motorola chip. That one there's got half its markings scrubbed off it. I can barely read them. That one there looks like it's made by Philips. No, it's not Motorola, it's made by something else. Yeah, can't really tell. It's an NEC chip with its own little programmed markings and things on it. See if I can get a bit. That's a little bit better. This camera can do really nice close ups, but it's a bit of a pain to try and set it up. But there's speed control relays. Probably three speeds up to there, which would be the fan controller. It's a proper mains AC connector. It's not a low voltage DC fan motor. Yeah, that's communication, optional control board, 
AC in. It's not DC, it's AC. There's two diodes there. Probably two. No, half wave. Half wave DC. It's only two diodes. An awful lot of little SMDs there. I don't know what they're going to. Where are they going to? That's fuse. Oh, that's part of the power supply. AC. Two diodes there. And it goes through there. It's that one there. regulator or something. O five seven eight oh five. Oh it's a five volt regulator. So this whole thing's five volt. Main input caps at twenty five volt. Let's see what's under that. So a fairly standard microprocessor. Not too sure. Uh, YouTuber Mike's Electric stuff does awesome teardowns on a component and board level. He knows all these components like the back of his hand. He does awesome teardowns. I'll post a link to his channel in the description. I know I've, I think I have done a couple of times, but yeah, Mike does awesome uh, electronics equipment autopsies and he knows all the components on the board. I don't know half of this shit, so you'll have to forgive me for being a bit rough with it, but yeah, it's interesting stuff. It's just something to look at and learn from. Not everyone can find this sort of stuff, and that's sort of why I do it. Okay, let's power this other one up before I open it up. I've got a 24 volt control transformer there. Kind of uh, handy to have. And uh, let's put some power to it and see what happens. Oh, nothing went pop. That's a good sign. It's not doing anything though. I guess because everything else is disconnected. The fuse is intact. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh well, I wasn't expecting it to do much. Okay, this is a second board. There isn't really a lot of difference. But that other chip, instead of being stamped NAC, it's stamped Brivus. Or printed anyway. So it's probably a custom programmed chip. I'd say it's probably not an actual custom chip. But probably still made by NEC. Semiconductor. But just uh, programmed differently. So yeah, I'm not sure about the anti-theft aspect of it, I really don't know what there'd be in there to stop someone from pinching the unit. Unless it's designed to have a specific indoor unit, talk to it, it's probably all in the programming. So if it doesn't have an indoor control panel talking the right code or activation code or something, it'd be like trying to start a car without the remote bloody um, key fob without one of them. You ain't going to be able to start the car because it's got the immobiliser deactivation chip in it. So that sort of makes sense if they've done something like that. So yeah, interesting stuff. Caps are all uh, Samwa, I think. Yeah, fairly cheap caps. But they all look intact. Mm, I like the quality this camera does. Not bad for a pocket mini cam. Uh, Panasonic Lumix TZ10. And speaking of camera, I'm just about out of battery. Oh well. That's the end of this autopsy anyway. There's not much to these. And without the indoor unit, they're probably quite useless. <laughs> There's just a bunch of cheap caps and good relays. I'm going to keep the relays. I've got some projects for them. But the rest of it, well, it's mostly junk. Anywho, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.